Hey your hoes, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Guess what? Finally. We have a safe. Oh my god, how long has it taken for me to find a safe? It took me so long. So much oats that I burned up. So I hope you guys appreciate that by smashing that like button for me. But we have found ourselves our very first safe it is our very first safe and i've not opened up one of these myself before i've seen other people do it and it has been good great and good for them but unfortunately i've always missed out i've always tried to find it through the ai bases that get populated down by here by pay, paying that consortium lady and yep she's gotten a lot of coin off me in the recent time so finally we got ourselves our own safe I am in the oak forest and pretty much I had to go to and um, back and forth to the stone plateau here to reset the uh, zone in order for me to find the safe. So that's pretty much what I did. A lot of you guys pointed out that go to the oak forest, you'll find a safe. Yes, you are correct. So I do thank you guys for that. It just took me a hell of a long time doing it, this method to go back and forth, back and forth. So yeah. Pretty much that's where that's at at the moment. So thank you guys so much. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into town. We're gonna get ourselves that safe. We're gonna crack that open and we're gonna see what's inside. Now, because I haven't opened up a safe before, I know there was a patch in between um, this initial update of the wagon series, but also to provide better loot. So we'll see how that all works and things like that in between and see if it's actually um, worth it or is a bit of a letdown. So without any further delay, what I need to do is I need to pump some food into Horsey over here. We're gonna do our trick. What's our trick you ask if you haven't watched it? Please go watch the previous video, but I will explain a bit of it now. As you can see, all that you need to do is literally put in one bit of oats into your horse. Use the wagon button to move to the next zone. This will allow you to uh, um, a, either put another bit of uh, oats into your horse again and run, or oh, sorry, ride over with the horse with the wagon in tow. Or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the um, energy here because I've got full energy. Now then, we're in, and as you can see that the um, the wagon is with us once we spawn in. Here we go. Let's go over, let's take our safe, and let's move right on over. And, oh no, you're over there, what am I doing? You're like the first thing here. Okay, so let's go over. Hey buddy. Look what I've got for you today. Can you crack that bad boy open? Yeah, not 24 hours. Let's go ahead and opening up instantly. No, no, no. What do we get? We got a few things. We didn't get a lot of things. We've got this Calvary Saber. The Calvary Saber, that's how you pronounce it. And not full quality either. A not so full quality cowboy jacket. That's disappointing. We've got some leather, we've got some iron plates, and we've got a tube. Sturdy boots. Okay. Well, that's cool. But that wasn't really much of anything. Hello, little buddy. Hey, bye. Um, yeah, so I don't understand why. Okay. I would have liked to think that that would have been a better um, experience, but okay. So is it worth it? Probably not. I mean, it's not worth it to open it instantaneously for the purpose of the video, 100%. 100% I will open it up for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, oh, I've got 23 minutes before I can do another event which is fine i'm not going to bother in doing that to be perfectly honest with you we've got a few of these happening over here which you know what uh we'll um uh, we'll sort of leave it alone i guess any bounties or quests or anything like that i don't think i have anything here 
I've got these two here that I do need to track, which, do I want to do them? I don't know. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab our bits and pieces. We'll head back home, see if there's any bounties for us to do today. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for the day, I reckon. But before we do that, let's go ahead and feed our horsey. Because we want to obviously take the wagon back home with us. So let's just go ahead and do that. He's going to stop. Perfect. And we're just going to run the rest of the way. This is the most economical way that you guys can utilize your wagon. So I did explain that in my previous video. Funny enough, if you are watching, which I'm sure you probably would be King Bonker, he reached out to me when I uploaded my video. Scary enough, he posted his video on the exact same subject about this wagon business and how the best way to utilize your wagon. Literally within an hour, my video was uploaded after his. And the that was the scariest thing. And I had, all, had it all prepped, had it all done, and it was all ready to go. I just had to pull the trigger and upload my video and he had already just did his. He's an excellent, excellent YouTuber. And if you guys don't know him, King Bonka, please check him out. He does awesome videos on Westland and also um, I think it is um, Grimsoll. Yes, it is, it's Grimsoll that he does. So check him out. And he's a very, very good guy, very good to talk to. He does answer a lot of your questions and things like that that you might have. He does um, a little bit of live stream as well, which is awesome. And hopefully what we're trying to tee up is, is we're going to try and do a little bit of multiplayer. Yes. Um, but the biggest hurdle that we have is that we live on separate parts of this earth here. So timing is everything for us to try and coordinate our time that we can have um, that both of us can be up at the same time. We're not obviously in a position where where one person is doing it during the day, someone's doing it here at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning kind of thing. So hopefully we'll um, we'll have that nutted out. And that's basically where we what we're sort of looking at doing today. Oh, well, not today, sorry. Hopefully that's what we're, I'm looking at the, the bounty here. Hopefully that's something that we'll do in the near, near future. Um, We've been teasing the fact that we want to do Seven Days to Die. If you guys haven't heard of that game, excellent PC game. If you guys want to check that out, I do a few videos on Seven Days myself personally. So if you guys want to have a look at some of my other videos via Seven Days, check it out. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But what I'm thinking is um, there is a new alpha update that is going to drop fairly soon. So I think if... Um, if we're sort of looking at it, you know, retrospectively here, I think my, what might be a good play is that I think we may should hold off until Alpha 19 does officially drop. I don't know. KB, if, you, if you're if you watching the video, let me know in the comments. Um, I think you might agree as well. But if you really want to do one, I am down. Okay. I am absolutely down to do a video with you, mate. So, um, but yeah, we we have um, we have agreed that we wanted to do uh, something like that. So hopefully, we um, we will get together at some point and do that. Maybe when I get some time off, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I do work a lot, and I'm still currently working, especially during these times. Um, absolutely, still going strong. Um, when you're a class essential, you got to do what you got to do. Unfortunately, there's not really an easy bounty for me to look at and if I were to do the uh, this particular bounty run this is going to be um, a bit of a stretch for me only considering that I don't have the resources available I do need to spend some time oh what the hell is going on here holy moly where did I get all these coins hey cool all right I am going to take 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 and Yep, there we go. All right. Hey, I'm not complaining whatsoever. I think someone brought that up somewhere in the um, in the Facebook uh, community page as well that they got a whole bunch of coins here. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna be happy with that. So, but what what was I doing? I was trying to find any sort of oats in here which I don't think that I have at all so I don't think I'll be able to uh, pursue the bounty unfortunately 
but what we can do is we better eat and drink so that'd be a good start absolutely okay so what we could do is we could just run into a i don't know a zone and we can just chat for the rest of the video and what else can we talk about well look it is a new month technically technically speaking we should be in line for a possible new update now there's been no leaks nothing that i've seen to be honest i haven't actually looked so don't hold that against me guys <laughs> but um new update when when is that going to happen when what does that look like when it will uh, will it drop i don't know so honestly i'm not too sure when that will all happen and hopefully you know we'll get some information soon and well as always they tend to sort of just drop a bit um drop the updates out of nowhere so you know we well as content creators we just scramble like no tomorrow and try and do our you know our best to try and deliver you know the said content actually what i might do should i do the wounded deer event okay let's just go ahead and do the wounded deer event may as well sorry i just keep chopping and changing you know how it is i'm sure you guys sort of you know get yourselves prepared out before a you know a bit of an adventure and then all of a sudden you want to backtrack and like oh hang on what <laughs> And it's not wasting time whatsoever. That should trigger it. Yes, it does. So thankfully enough, I've been able to find these compound bows in raids, which is good. So nothing wrong with, you know, with fighting them in raids and things like that. The fact that I don't have to craft them myself, yeah, it, it helps. Every little bit helps. So let's run over there. I've got the energy for it, so not an issue. And yeah, let's go Let's go on a little hunt there. So what I was thinking as well, and I didn't actually elaborate this as much in my previous video with regards to the wagon. So what I was thinking about doing, and I guess that's something for you guys to think about as well. Oh, we've already got the, um, the scent, anyway. So what you could do is, let's say for example, you want to farm shale. So we know where shale is located. So we know it's going to be up in a, in a particular area, corner, whatever. And in order for you to utilize effectively the wagon, the wagon comes with, I don't know, I think it's like 20 slots now once you upgrade to tier four, I believe it is. So once you've done that and it's been upgraded, you can more or less leave it at a neighboring site, or sorry, zone, I should say rather. And the only reason why that I say this is that effectively every time that if you leave the wagon where it is in the zone, let's say, is that the wounded deer? That is the wounded deer. No, that is the wounded deer. Okay. Anyway, so. If you leave the wagon a zone away, the closest zone that you can find that uses the least amount of energy, oats, whatever it needs, okay? You can pretty much leave the wagon there, go back to the zone where it's got the most shale, stock up. Once you get full, of course, you can um, run back to the zone where the wagon is situated at. And this will allow you to dump all the excess that you find and whether it's shale whether it's whatever other materials that you're um you know wanting to obtain as a secondary as opposed to the primary and again i'm just using shale as an example um, a lot of people would probably want to start farming shale only because um you want to upgrade your base your walls things like that so i think shale will be a bit of a um a, a commodity for a lot of people okay so by doing it that way what you'll find is that you can just keep stocking up. You don't need to take the wagon over there systematically because if you do that and if you end up leaving the zone without the wagon, the zone doesn't reset. We can already confirm that. So my theory behind this is that you just take the wagon, dump it at a location, and then from there, you just ferry back to it with your horse 
and with your with yourself of course and once that's all once you've diluted let's say you can go back and just rinse and repeat and you can do that with anything you could even leave it up in the north Oop. got an outlaw here wants to try and stab me you're not going to do that buddy there's going to be all of you guys here too and i don't want to use my cult it's a waste on these guys anyway but yeah so that's my thoughts with that and let me know what you guys think in the comments how would you guys do that any differently to what i would do it um would you do it the same way would you do it differently so yeah let me know interested to know exactly how you guys would do that yourselves but yeah wagon 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 so we finally worked out a way to uh use it effectively which is great so i'm actually really really happy with that myself these guys are coming out of nowhere i really don't want to burn my, my bow here so yeah so I'm, I'm really happy with how that worked out and hopefully you guys can appreciate that too what we hope that doesn't happen is that the developers see this and they're like nope that's not going to happen next update we will patch that yeah <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen because i know a lot of you guys um had already caught on to that as well before, prior to the videos that came out between me and kb there and yeah so i know a lot of you guys didn't know that happened which were you guys were thankful all in the same wave you know all together which was good so happy that you guys were happy with that and i'm happy oh jesus this cougar come on buddy you, really, you can't really quick hit these you get, you have to really hold down the bow in order for it to um to uh to hit i don't know if there's a fast loading bow let me know in the comments is there like a, a i know there's like composite bows and things like that i don't know if there's like a like a crossbow that shoots quickly or anything like that to be honest i don't do bows I've, i only do bows purely because of this um these are the, these type of hunting events so and we've got ourselves the wreck train where are you oh you're up there okay cool so we're gonna head in town we will claim our little bounty there and i think probably a good time to go ahead and leave it for today so once we get over there we'll get our our rewards and we'll call out the video but let me know in the comments what you thought about all this today. Are you guys happy that I finally got myself a safe? Are you guys happy the fact that I didn't get anything good? Or are you guys sad that I didn't get anything good? I don't know. Let me know. You guys know the drill by now, I hope. Anyway, let's have a look. Wounded deer in our inbox. And... That's the new quest line for that one there. So you can only do these so much before they all completely um, go into their cooldown where you have to wait until the next, um, and I think you're a few minutes away, less than 10 minutes. I'm not gonna do a bounty this week, guys, so we'll leave that alone. But I've been really wanting to do a little bit more with Westland as well before we end the video, guys. So um, I have been doing other things as well and you might notice that i'm only limiting to one day a week with westland i really do want to ramp it up to at least two days a week which i'm sure you guys would actually absolutely love but i need to put in the time to get my pl uh, my player back to a point where i can actually do that so that's what i'm going to start focusing on and i do really need to do that and because it's my my best series i guess so my best current series I should say so currently at the moment yes I am doing great with Westland and I'm sure that a lot of people would agree with that all the other videos that I'm pumping out at the moment not so much and I know you guys may not be interested in watching the other videos but if you guys do really want to support me please check out the other videos that'll really help me a lot um, particularly maybe go down the seven days to die pathway it is a survival based game so if you guys enjoy westland which is a survival game um more or less suss out seven days to die so if you guys can do that for me i'll be really really appreciative if you guys do that i know that this is a shameless plug so i don't want to drag that out but i just thought i'd just call it out for now and at least you guys can you know 
check it out for me. Let me know that you've came over from Westland in the comments of uh, Seven Days there. It is a PC game, so it's not a mobile game. I know, I get it. But if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. Anyway, this will wrap it up for today. Appreciate you guys, as always, stopping by, checking out the video. If you enjoyed what you've seen, again, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. If I missed anything out, please call it out. And if you guys are new to the channel, see what you like, want to see more, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, take it easy and as always, I will catch you next time.